interview, I just kind of rolled with it. And that's kind of this guy's uh, personality, isn't it? Absolutely, and that's, that is what, at the end of his round, I saw, oh. I saw his demeanor never changed, his, his movements didn't change, this pace of the way he walked and, and played stayed exactly the same. So he knew he was in the zone, yeah. and he just stayed oh. right in it all day. Birdies at 11 and 13 early in the morning after beginning his day on the, the backside, and then another one here at 14. This one was actually considered one of the zero cuts. And by the way, he lipped out at 10 and 12, the only two holes of the first six that he didn't birdie. So this could have been a crazy low round today. Absolutely, and he uh, uh, parred the par 5 17th, or no, 16th. Mm -hmm. And then this at 17, I mean, off the green, pops it up in the air. A little bit of luck there. That thing was picking up steam going down the hill, but you don't shoot 62 without a couple lucky breaks here and again. And 30 on his opening nine after that one went down at 18. He was just flat on cruise control. Made the turn, grabbed another one there at one. That's a, a great feeling when you stand over a putt and just feel like there's a really good chance I'll make this. Well, I think it's a great feeling anyway. Yeah, I can't yeah, recollect. Bogey the third, Robert, and then, uh, I mean, no ill effects of that. Came right back with that dart into number four. He hit more iron shots dead at it. Even the ones where he had kind of far away, you know, were long or short. They were just right at the hole all day. Ripped off three in a row after the drop shot at the third. That was for Eagle at number five. He would make another birdie at the sixth, courtesy of this shot. 95 yards. He just really, he had actually quite a few wedges today in his hand and put them all unbelievably good. A great iron player Scott is. Like he said, he's not always the best putter, but you wouldn't have known it today. This into the eighth after his second drop shot of the day at seven. And it was actually getting tricky. The green started off firm. They started to get a little softer in the day. So controlling that spin and knowing what to do was tough, but he just was absolutely dialed in. He tapped that one in for another birdie. Why not just go ahead and finish off with one more in the last? 62 for Scott Piercy, 12th birdie of the day, bringing him the course record here at Silverado.